Hey all, Russ here, RVR TV, welcome. Check it out. We're up here in Kingman. This is I-40 straight ahead. We're gonna stay on Route 66 all the way over to Topak, Arizona. We're looking for a spring bloom this year. And I heard it is fantastic. It's March 24th, early morning, Friday. We're gonna take a little bit of time on this trip. You know, it's been three years since uh, I've actually found a decent uh, spring bloom. And it was up in this area too. The amount of rain this year has been crazy. Absolutely crazy. Look at all these old motels. Some of them are back from the old Route 66 days. Right up here in the right. It's one of the old parks at Kingman. They got a big sign. Route 66. If you've never been to this town, it's a good one. They really promote the old road. Route 66, the themes, the businesses. Right up here is Motel Row from the old days too. So sit back, enjoy the ride. We're gonna go for uh, quite a ride, do some exploring. And here's all the old motels. There's the hilltop. <laughs> all these been restored. Very popular. There are tens of thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of people that come here and just to drive this road. Not in an RV, even in a car. You see them from all over the world here. Big murals on the old buildings and stuff. And right down through here, uh, off to the right would be Old Town. The old courthouse is down here. There's our Arcadia Lodge. From the old days. Bakeries. All kinds of stuff. These buildings are the same. Can you imagine the amount of people that are driven through here? Plus, the road we're going to take up here a little farther. It's all, still all Route 66, but when we go through Oatman, that's the original road. Golden Shores. Then we end up down in Topak, which is right on the Colorado River and the state line. This big water tank up here, it's got the big mural on it. You see that in just every picture of Route 66. Welcome to Kingman. Then right here off to the left is the train depot. They got a little museum. I did a video on that year or two ago. I'm sure check that out. Very authentic, very Route 66 themed. And it's still an active train station. Uh, they got Amtrak that runs through there. Right here on the right there's that old car dealer, Mr. D's restaurant with all the old cars. And off the left, that's Route 66, Visitor Center and Museum, the train park on the right. That museum is something to see. I've filmed it a couple times. Maybe we'll do that this spring before we hit the road. Then right here we make a left. This is part of the old road right here. If you went straight, you could jump on I-40. No interstates. There's Mojave County Museum. Very cool museum. If you get a chance, go in there. You want to see history about mining. All kinds of cool stuff around here. That's the place to do it. They got uh, samples. They got gemstones. I mean, just all kinds of cool thing about mining. Then off to the right is a place you don't want to be. <laughs> County Jail. 
All right, we say let's have some fun. Welcome to Route 66. We're going to look for a spring bloom. There's a train coming through. Main train tracks go clear to California, across the country. Run through this beautiful canyon. Look at all the rock they cut through to get this road in here. Original road right here. I'm going to show a lot of extra footage in this video. I'm not going to cut much out. You're going to see what I see. Might as well. Hey, how often do you get to go out and hunt down a spring bloom? It's probably going to be a super bloom. From what I've heard, seen uh, some few pictures on Facebook, the Oatman area is a hot spot for the flowers this year, all the desert flowers. Old RV park here on the right. Never stayed there. I think most of them guys are long term, live there by the year. Off to the right, you can see a little bit of I 40 there. They, that pass they go over to get in the Kingman. Then down through here is Junkyard Alley, all the junkyards. Big wash right there. With all this atmospheric river storms. If you ever hear of such a word, atmospheric <laughs> river. The amount of water. Look how green it is here even. I mean, everywhere it's green. Normally, I mean, we're almost 1st of April. We should be in the 70s, 80s, almost 90s. And right now it's 52 degrees on the thermometer here in the van. Pretty chilly, but blue skies, perfect. Care for what you wish for in the desert, it'll heat up before you know it. But a lot of these buildings on the left, the old junkyards, there's truck wash. A little farther is uh, old time uh, truck stop. Okay, here, the original road went straight for the interstate days. We're going to make a right. Then we're going to cut over and pick back up the old road. Interstate 40, what a busy, busy highway. My goodness. That is Truck Alley. Okay, just a little bit up here on the left. Pick back up the old road. This will be fun. I've been looking forward to this uh, for a while. Last couple of years, because of the drought, there was no rains. I mean, no, no bloom happened. That kind of water, heck yeah. Okay, we make a left. We're going to pick back up on the old road. If you went straight, that's the back way. Take over that Highway 68, which would cut you over to, like, Bullhead City, Laughlin. Ooh, here's a sign. Let's stop. This will be our official start right here, huh? You can see it's it's been raining. Tons of rain. Uh, when I was down at Quartzsite, all the rains that hit down there really hit up here. Oatman, 23 miles. We'll be stopping there. 
Me will see a borough to Mojave County, US 66. They really take care of this road pretty good. I, actually, I heard they're going to improve it. They had some funds. Out here in the road, they actually spray paint the emblem, US 66. Boy, I'm going to sink here in this mud. <laughs> there you go. A lot of people get pictures of this one. Here we go. Look how green. It looks like they have lawns. <laughs> this is desert. This isn't grass country. This is desert. That's a good sign. Most of the bloom... Will, we're going to go over a pass up here called Sit Grease Pass. They warn you too. No vehicles over 40 feet long. It's not real RV friendly if you got a big rig going over here. But most of the bloom should be on the western slope, not on this. We're on the east side right now. And here are these big washes. They're huge. They're raging rivers. Sacramento Wash. Now remember this name because when we get to the other end, we're going to see it again. It's incredible how far this water flows. Look how they've been plowing the sand out of the road. This thing will flood in a heartbeat. They even cut a road down through there. You can four wheel all over this area. There are trails everywhere. Look at this, there's a rock shop up here in the left. Stop, buy some souvenirs, rocks. Got an old RV sitting there, pretty cool. All kinds of stuff along this old Route 66 through here. Then up here somewhere, there's another place. I think I see it up here on the left. Here it is. It's called Saddle Sore Ranch. For bikers, if they're tired of riding their motorcycle, they can stop, take a break. Pretty cool. Look at that. Got the old VW bus parked out front. Only on Route 66, huh? <laughs> More washes to drive through. This road will flood out. Then there's uh, RV parks out here. Old ones. Very old. Then we're going to stop up here. There's a little rest area. They got a storyboard. I've stopped here many times. This is the start of going over the mountain pass. Plus, Cool Springs is up here. A little place with gift shops, old buildings. We'll check that too. Look at that. Someone's camping here. And this is so well kept. Look at this nice storyboard. 
but the history of Route 66, this area through here, map of the whole way, history about the section of road we're on now, 2200 miles, California to Chicago. One of these years I'm going to drive the whole thing. Be fun just to do it by state. Arizona, New Mexico, go through Texas. No, before you go, a little safety tips. This is a 42 mile stretch here that we're on. Pretty cool. And it's an official backcountry byway, national backcountry byway. And on this side, a little more info. How the times change through the years, how people traveled during the Depression. Hey, convertible top down AM radio blasting. <laughs> The good old days, huh? But that's crazy how green this looks. You know, in the summertime, it's 110 plus here. You can even see little patches of yellow. And this is the east side. Look at that. That's incredible. You hear burrows out here too, hee-hawing. <laughs> They're all over this area. Then up that direction will be Cool Springs. We'll stop. Little gift shop area. Perfect day, blue sky, no clouds. There you can really see how the water runs, the washes. The old road just winds up, old, the old Sickery Pass up through there. But see all the trails? You can four wheel out here all over the place. Well, cool. We'll make a stop up here at Cool Springs. Get a couple pictures of it. Pretty decent paved road. It's a little rough, but not too bad for the amount of traffic. You know, with the bloom going too, that this road would be jammed. Cool Springs, this thing has been in movies. Oh, the history here, it used to be a uh, water and hole for back in the 1800s for miners and stagecoaches. Just vast history here. And here you go, we're about to enter the 191 turns in eight miles. <laughs> it's a windy thing with no guardrails, so better fasten up your seat belts here in a minute. But anyway, Cool Springs, cute little stop. They got a gift shop on the inside. They sell all kinds of Route 66 memorabilia. All stone-faced. They don't sell gas anymore. They got the old pumps. Vendors will set up here, sell rocks, all kinds of cool stuff. And the guy that was actually doing the restoration got it up and running and used it to go get the rocks to rebuild this place. So that green truck helped rebuild this place. Well, you ready? 
to do 191 turns in what, eight miles? So here's another emblem sprayed on the road. Looks like they just redid some of that. There's hiking trails here. They used to have gold panning. I don't know if they still do it or not. But this is mining country. Oh my goodness. This place has uh, been mined everywhere. Every cliff, every corner, and they're still doing it actively. I've driven this road a lot, and I love it every time. I could do this daily if I had to. <laughs> when we get a little farther, we'll stop. It's a few, little bit of video of the cliffs and stuff. This is the eastern slope going over the hill. Well, I'm just going to let the camera run and just enjoy the trip. This is what it's like, Route 66. From Cool Springs going up uh, over the hill. Down the other side, we drop down into Oatman. can see no guardrails but it gets really curvy once we get up higher <laughs> there's a few uh, homes back in here people still live up in here once again they still mine this area there's a lot of abandoned ones what they mined here was all different kinds of ore. I know gold, silver, other things. When we drop down the other side, we'll go past a huge active mine. See a bunch of old mobile homes up here. Some look abandoned, some look still lived in. They got power. Look at that. They got power poles out here. This is why they don't want rigs over 40 feet long. Some of the curves up here get pretty sharp. And the road narrows out. And I read, I think it was on Facebook or somewhere, they allocated some money. They're going to do some improvements on this road. I'm not sure if it's this side or the western side. Hey, hey, there's a guy named Alan. I met him in uh, Cool Springs. Talk to him a minute. He watches RV or TV. He was from Kingman. And the higher we're getting up here curvier it gets. There's a pole out up here, not too far. See those uh, cliffs over there? We'll get a good shot of those when we stop. There's very few places to pull off. Look at that. There's color there. I just seen flowers. Oh my goodness. All the times I've ever been up here, I've ne never seen color on this side. Goes by the slope. I guess it's amount of rain, amount of light they get. Wildflowers got a mind of their own. Mother Nature planted them, not us. Now the curve, we ought to be getting fairly close to that pullout. In a car, it's a lot easier to pull off the road. With this van, it's too long. A little sign warning about burrows, and they do get on these roads. You can pop over a hill, and right there is one standing in the middle. 
Normally they run around. Oh, here it is. They run around in groups. Nope, that's not it. A little farther up. Here it is. I've stopped here a few times. All right. What do you say? Let's check her out. There is. There's color here. Over on that little hillside there. Still not a super bloom yet, but look at the rock formations. Isn't that cool? And that's been explored, oh goodness, by all the miners. Very rich with ore. There's your Kodak moment right there. What a picture. There's some mining cabins down there, mining buildings. What a view from up here, huh? That uh, Schaefer's fishbowl's up that direction somewhere. Well, let's walk down. There's a big uh, ravine down here. Usually has water. A little bit of color. There's some purple. But we're looking for the big patches. We'll find them. Peaceful here. That's quite a drop off. That's a few hundred feet down there. Water runs down through there. They got springs that come out of the hill, like that Schaefer's fishbowl. We're going to drive past it. Look at that thing. That would hurt you. But look how pretty it is. Those needles are sharp, like, oof. Now you can see the switchbacks on the hill. The road cutting right up the side. Right up there is that Schaefer's fishbowl. We'll drive past it. It's a little natural spring that comes out of the hillside year round. All the way up Sitgreaves Pass. We're only about a mile and a half from the top or so. Just a pretty, pretty place. Once again, this is the eastern side of Sitzkreed Pass on historic Route 66, and we're looking for a super bloom. Starting to warm up a little bit. I could actually take my jacket off. About 63 degrees right now. One thing about this Schaefer's uh, fishbowl up here, there's very little parking, almost none. Enough for about two or three cars. This is so scenic in here. But no guardrails, that drops straight off. <laughs> Look at the stonework of this bridge up here. We're going to go right over it. Then right up here on the left, here's the parking to get up to that fishbowl. Schaefer's fish bowl with goldfish in it. And it's straight ahead. Oh, there's a people up there. Look at this. Let's see if they'll wave at us. Look straight above those cars there. You'll see folks. It's tiny. Someone put in a set of stairs to go up through there. There it is. 
I've done videos on it. Be sure to check them out. And I see color. I see flowers. Yay. Made it. This is the top. This is called Set Grease Pass, elevation 35 and change, 3,500 feet. And here's where we should start seeing. Oh my goodness, right off the left, look. We're going to start seeing the super bloom right through here, I bet. Big parking area up here with the memorial. We'll stop, check it out. Straight ahead. There is a uh, memorial up top here with a huge view. And I'm going to show you something here. I've already seen it. <laughs> this entire valley is full of flowers. We found it. We're in for a treat. A lot of crosses, rocks painted, all the names and dates on them. I've never been up top here. I've always driven past, never walked up. This is first for me up here, too. Little solar lights, paintings. Pretty impressive, really. All the way around the mound. Plus I go down the hill a little bit too. But check out the view. You can actually see all the way down to the valley. Clear down the open. And look at all the patches of flowers. They cover the entire valley here. This is what you call a super bloom. Doesn't last long, maybe uh, two, three weeks tops. People will flock up here to see this stuff. Patches all over. When we get down the hill, there's that mine, there's that active mine. When we get down the hill farther, hopefully I can find a place to park. We'll see them up close, but look at them all. All the hillsides, that's a huge area. That's a Mother Nature garden right there. We're in for a treat. Clear up that slope, up almost up to the top. I've never seen them like this. This is absolutely the best one I've ever seen up here. Look how thick they are. That's a huge area. Even all the way down towards Oatman. Areas. I bet when we get past Oatman 2, we'll find them. We're going to go the whole way. We're going to go all the way down to Topak. we still got a few miles to do. Plus the ride down this hill. <laughs> Fasten your seatbelt. I 
I think they call them a poppy flower. But there's different ones. There's some purple. Kind of a perfect place for a little memorial park here. I've never walked up here. It's first time for me to. Now you can see the whole valley. Look at all the mining. Look at all the bare ground down there from all the mining. Dirt trails, the road, Highway 66. Well, you can ATV. Some of this might be private too. But all them trails lead to mine somewhere. Then there's a look at the road we just drove up. There's the pass, Sit Grease Pass. I'm walking up this little patch that we passed before we head down the hill. Let's see if we can get a close up. They're kind of down there a little bit. <clears throat> Isn't that gorgeous? There they are. Yeah, I know down farther. I'm just hoping I can get parking. Getting down farther. There's one little area that they used to grow a little valley down there. A lot of people starting to show up. See, I came in from the east side. I knew better than to start an open. Because <laughs> it really gets jammed up. I've come up here a few times. But this is by far the, the most flowers I've seen. Definitely a super bloom here in Open Valley. Okay. Fasten up them seat belts. We're heading downhill. This thing really gets windy with no guardrails. Down we go. Once again, elevation was 3,500 feet. I'm not sure what Oatman is. But we got to drop down at least 1,500 feet at least, I bet. Once we get down below to Oatman. Oatman's a cool town. If you've never heard of it, it's Oatman, Arizona. It's an old mining town. No gas stations. It's all low businesses, touristy, hotel. You'll see it up here. But what a view. See dirt trails or holes in the ground, those are mines and <laughs> mining trails. 
We can see how narrow it is here. Official Highway 66 sign there. We're getting close down to this uh, mine. There is a big old switchback coming up. This is why they don't want rigs over 40 feet long right here. You could do it, but if someone else is coming the other way, I've seen people pull uh, big trailers over here. Probably more like semis. Ooh, look at the flowers. Look at that. This hill covered. All the spoils of mining right there. They got shafts that go underneath the road here. They mine a lot of ore. This is a very active mine. Big one. They got it all fenced off with uh, razor wire on top of the fence. It's all private property. Be a good place of metal detect, huh? <laughs> oh, you'd find his old rusted nails. But see there on the left, those concrete structures, those are mine entrances all sealed up. Who knows how far down or into the mountain they go. There's their office. Look at the fence, all razor wired. You always see a lot of vehicles here, so they must employ a lot of people. And here's the famous sign, 2.2 miles to Oatman. Not sure if the camera will pick it up. There's a big conveyor system. They haul, must be the spoils out of the mining. Or maybe it's the ore, I don't know. Ooh, more flowers. We're getting close to that uh, area. I'm just hoping I can uh, park. There's a huge patch there on the right. Wow, look at this. Should be up here on the left. Cool, no one's parked here. Right here, we got a shot at it. We can walk them. Let me get parked here. Perfect. Usually it's full of cars here. All right, we say let's check them out. Kind of a gold color. Oh man, isn't this pretty? Not much wind, and the wind they flutter like butterflies. Look how far up. My goodness, I've never seen them this plentiful, ever. A super bloom on a super historic road, Roll Route 66. What an epic drive we've had this morning, huh?
It was pure luck to be able to park here. There's always cars parked here. There they're fluttering in the breeze a little bit. Finally a little breeze came through. What an epic stop. See up here you can park a little bit too, but there's always cars here. Perfect. I'll guarantee you this weekend this place is going to be packed full of people. Alright, I only got about a mile into town. We'll stop in Oatman. Check that a little bit. Oatman, Arizona. I mean, this is historic, history, whatever you want to call it. Mining, Route 66. This is before Route 66. Back in here, dates back in 1800s. Movies have been filmed here. Matter of fact, there's a storyboard that lists the movies. We'll try to find that. Looks pretty busy already. Weekends, this place is just jam-packed. It's a fun stop, though. All these little shops, they're all western theme. Let me get snake through. I park on the other side of town. Oh, look at this up here. We got a standoff between UPS and FedEx on Main Street in Oatman. Big show down here. <laughs> they barely left enough to, room to get through. There's the Oatman Hotel. Haunted, but you can still rent rooms. 1902 that was built. Yeah, this town, there's no gas stations, a little country store, 
all these shops, they really uh, have come back from all the, when the world was shut down. This place got shut down too. Okay, up here off the left behind the buildings. Pretty good sized parking area, that's usually where I park. This is a major stop. There are tour buses from like Vegas, Laughlin, California. They all stop here. Come in by the bus load. Look at that beef jerky. Free beef jerky. <laughs> all these businesses sell like the feed that you can give to the burros, like little uh, cubes. So they can feed the burrows. They're always in the streets. Hopefully we'll see a couple of them. Place to get uh, souvenirs for Route 66, Arizona. They really cater to you here. Just fun. This is a fun, fun stop. I think they're having, I think, I'm pretty sure they do every year, a big bike rally. A lot of motorcycles. Uh, they'll stay up here at the hotel. All kinds of cool stuff. A little A-frame on top of the hill up there. Used to be a hotel back. It's all tore down. Look at all the wood. Uh-oh. Who we got? Look at the p painting of the burrows. That's cute. Roadside attraction, Ghost Mining Ghost Town, Oatman, Arizona. They claim it's haunted, especially the hotel. There's a couple rooms you can rent. Get your kicks on Route 66, shooting gallery. Fast Fanny's place. Wagons on the roof. Look at the old signage. They've done very well with this. A lot of upkeep. You know, in the desert, the sun just cooks this stuff. Hey, that's a good looking bike, huh? There's your Oatman General Store. The Haunted Hotel. That'd be fun to stay there once. They claim uh, movie stars used to come up here out of California way back in the 20s and 30s and would stay here and then all the traffic through on Route 66. So this is downtown Oatman. Ooh, wow, look at that truck camper. It's got license plates from England or somewhere. Oh, here's the murals. You see these and a lot of postcards and pictures. The old miner. Buzzard on the pole. And a little history on open. And the permanent residents of uh, <laughs> Oatman. Look at them guys, aren't they? They are so well fed. I'll guarantee you they're in a lot of selfies. <laughs> well, there's a good little look at Oatman. Wander back towards the van. 
We got some more wildflowers to look for. But this is part of it, the Route 66 coming up over the pass, looking for the super bloom. If you're in this area, ever want to get up in here, do it. Usually about the end of March, first part of April. Here's those signs about the movies. There's been a few of them filmed here. TV shows, movies. They use a lot of these buildings for prompts. But even some old time films too. Once again, history. They're saving history. Well, we're going to keep on uh, 66 here. We're going to end up going down through uh, Golden Shores. Then the final destination will be Topak, Arizona. Which is at uh, like exit one of the Arizona-California border in the Colorado River. Ooh, oh my goodness, look ahead. Wow. There are flowers everywhere. I have never seen it like this. Normally there will be a few small patches up here. That is huge. Sometimes you see burrows out this way too. That guy was sell setting up selling stuff on the side of the road. My goodness, they go all the way back in there. There's a uh, Oatman Fire Department up on the hill. Volunteer Fire Department. You always see their trucks up there. Look what I see up here. <laughs> they haven't made it to town yet. They're too full. They got too much green grass out here to eat. Says, eh, I'm going to take a little siesta. Then I'll head to town. <laughs> Love it. Traffic's really picking up. People stopping. Not too often you can see a super bloom like this with all the wildflowers. Desert wildflowers. This looks like someone spray painted the hillsides with gold. Well, we're getting pretty close. The road will split up here. Big wash area. But mainly on the western slopes. Must be have something to do with the soil too, maybe, huh? Here where the road splits, people boondock right up here. Right, this little triangle area. I gotta make a left here on this is uh, Route 66 to the left. Now to the right, that would take you back right back into Fort Mojave, Bullhead City, Laughlin area. Which it's about 10 miles, 12 miles down that road to get there. From here, we're probably. I don't know, maybe 20 miles to Golden Shores. Maybe not that far. Plus you can camp out here. You can boondock right along the road.
We're all the way down to the bottom of the valley from up top at Sitgreaves Pass. Still got flowers. My goodness. What a ride, huh? There's that triangle area where they all camp. But along 66, going towards Golden Shores. Uh, actually, there's some dunes that we'll go through. We'll stop and film that. But all the way up there to Oatman. These guys are going to be busy next week or two. A lot of people will be out here. Look at all the color along the road here. We're not done yet. I know there's a pole out up here. There used to be a little pole out and there was a stone building that it overlooked. Wow, this motorhome is parked right alongside. He's camped there. Slides out. Be okay, a lot of traffic noise. Isn't this pretty through here? Should be getting close. Wow, more, more color. Here it is. Let's stop here. Perfect. Look at that view. You talk about your Kodak moment. Those flowers go all the way up through there. More purple in here too. Those are different flowers, huh? Desert in full bloom. Those guys are just getting ready to start. Down there's that uh, stone cabin. A couple of them down there. That's sure that's all private property. What a view! Colorado River is way out there. Look at this. And I thought we were done seeing the color. Wow. Then you got the big mountain background, huh? <laughs> Scenic. Highway 66. Historic Highway 66. Perfect. But all these little side trails, you see people parked, camped, car way out there, be interesting to find out what those buildings were, I'm sure they date way back, stone like that, gotta be mining with the water tanks, barrels, Probably mined right underneath the road here, huh? There's a little memorial plaque up here. Jim Nelson. What a view. That's all I can say. Glad I came up here today. It's 
been on the list. I mean, I know he played around in quartzite during the rain, but it never bloomed down there like this. That car and I have been passing each other since the sick grease pass. They're stopping taking their pictures. And that's what it's all about, coming out in this road. Look at these views. I mean, where else are you going to see something like this? And it's free. Okay, let's head on over and find those dunes around Golden Shores. Here it is here. You always see rigs parked here. This is definitely four wheel country. They got sand dunes you can ride around in. Dirt bikes. A lot of people come over here from California, spend the weekends, the long weekends, clubs, four wheelers and all that. Right there on the left. There should be, if I remember right, yep. Storyboard. I think same one that we've seen when we first started our adventure today. Well, doesn't matter. Let's stop, check it, take a break. Perfect boondocking. Probably 14 day in here. Yep, same storyboard. Roads for Adventure. You know, it'd be a fun trip if I drove just the Route 66 all the way across Arizona. Start in Topak and go all the way over to uh, New Mexico border. A few rigs here. Can't beat this weather. It's not even hot. Perfect. And you can see all the trails all the way out. They go out there for miles. No towns around here either. I mean, this is, you talk about being out in the middle of nowhere. This is it. Oatman's way out that direction. And Bullhead City, Laughlin. Out that way. Then you got the Colorado River. Quite a ways down. There you can see a little bit of the water. There's the river. And down below is all the dunes. You can see all the trails. You'd only be a couple miles from Golden Shores. And I think we're out of the flowers. No more color here. This is hardcore desert. Looks like quartzite, doesn't it? All the sand and the dunes. Guarantee it floods through here. During the heavy rains. Usually they got to close some of these sections of road too. Once again, if you're looking for a cool place to come four-wheeling, boondock, camp out. This is it. It's all free. There's a sign entering Golden Shores, the big town. It's kind of a retirement community, a lot of mobile homes. It's grown over the last few years. Super close to uh, Colorado River. Oh, there's big marshes, wildlife areas. 
So if you're boating, camping, fishing, this is it. Pretty good size VFW. They got a post office, store, I think dollar stores here. Gas station. So if you're boondocking, I mean, you're really close. You always see a lot of cars around that restaurant there. Storage buildings, those are popular. But it gets hot. This is like Needles and Bullhead City. You want to get in the 110, 15 degree weather in the summer, this is it. It cooks here. There's a dollar store. Fire department. Now this road to the right will take it. That would take you straight over to uh, Fort Mojave. Needles, all that. More restaurants and that gas station's down there. Make a quick stop. We'll make it right here. This is a little community park. Veterans Park here in Golden Shores. It's supposed to be a metal sculpture up here. It's pretty cool. This is also Topak back in here. Golden Shores and Topak kind of are together. There's a sculpture. Let's stop. Someone told me about this. I never knew it. Making art with a welder. Look at this thing. Don the Town Greeter, a.k.a. Marsh Captain. <laughs> also known as Hawkman. Got a wheel, exhaust pipe, wings, hat, goggles. <laughs> Got some chrome on them. Headlight. Isn't that something? Now that's creative. And this little build, blue building here, I remember it was once a post office. Oh yeah, it goes way back early 1900s. It was a post office, all kinds of stuff. Donated, they moved it here. Saving history once again. Right here in Golden Shores. A lot of the road footage you're seeing is on that GoPro Hero 10. I have it magnet mounted to the van. Okay, Topak Marina is just a couple miles up the road. More trails right there. Look at the dust. They're out there running around now. This town's always reminded me of Quartzite every time I drove through here. Okay, big marshlands off to the right. Part of the Colorado River system. And all this floods bad. They've built, on the left, they built that big levee. They've tried to control it, but the mud. You remember when we first started and we crossed that Sacramento wash way back at the first part? Right here it is. And it all dumps out through here into the river. Shows you how many miles that wash runs. And it can really flood through here. They, they'll close the road bring in big plows and graders and front end loaders, clean it out and away you go. But look at all the rock they piled, try to direct the water to one location. There's the mighty Colorado River, Interstate 40, 
the railroad tracks and the bridges. All that crosses directly across bridges is California. And there's Topak down there, the marina. Bar, restaurant. They used to have an RV park, I don't know. And there's Colorado. Straight across is that uh, Pirate's Cove RV park. Pirate's Cove, Pirate Den, something like that. That's California side. Then there's all your wetlands and marsh and where it floods. There's a really good look at the wash where it comes down through. Big old train coming through. Pretty good boat launch. You can have access to the upper part of uh, the Colorado above uh, Lake Havasu up here. And you can boat all the way down to the lake from here. Be a few miles. Oh, look at that. They're putting in a motel or something there. Huh. Cool. Then if we make a right here, you want to see the Colorado River real quick. Pull down here. There's the mighty Colorado. Look at all the graffiti on that bridge. How in the heck did they get out there and paint that? Oh, man. Everywhere, huh? Anyway, that's the state line, Arizona-California state line. For more information on my travels, visit rvertv.tv. That's my website. Sign up for our free monthly newsletter. Plus there is downloads for screensavers that are free. Also check out all of our merch. Plus activity books, coloring books, and puzzle books coming soon. Once again, visit rvertv.tv. Well, how's that for an epic trip? All the way along US 66, historic US 66, over Sick Grieve Pass, seen a super blooms through Oatman, and the views just kept on giving, huh? Okay, get back here on 40. Journey continues. Talk soon.